G'day guys, today I'm making a beautiful cheese and bacon steak on the barbecue and it is so delicious and simple. So for starters, of course you will need a steak. Here I'm using a porterhouse steak, it's also known as a New York strip or a club steak depending on where you live, and you want this steak to be at least an inch thick. So now I'm going to brush this steak on one side with some grapeseed oil. I'm using grapeseed oil because it can handle a nice hot sear and I'm also going to crack a bit of pepper onto it, just on one side. So now I'm going to cook up a couple of pieces of bacon. And while that's happening, I'm going to make some garlic butter. So here I've got some melted butter, and you want to use melted butter here because I'm going to brush it onto the steak, season with a good dose of pepper, and add in a couple of cloves of garlic. Now you'll notice there's no added salt to this dish, and that's because the bacon and cheese are salty enough. So once the bacon's cooked on one side, just flip it over, and it's time to put on that steak, oil side down, and I'm going to sear that for about a minute on a very high heat. You can crisscross it if you like, just like this. And then after a minute, just flip that steak. Now we need to work quite quickly here so that steak doesn't overcook. Brush on some of that garlic butter, Then add the bacon to the top of the steak, followed by some tasty cheddar cheese. Now cook with the lid down until the steak's done to your liking. For a medium steak, it'll be about another two minutes. And then take it off the barbecue and lightly cover in foil and allow it to rest for a few minutes. But don't press it down too hard on the steak, otherwise the cheese will stick to the foil. And then dig in guys, it's done. Beautiful stuff. This is one of the tastiest steaks you will have. Give it a go. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Want more cooking videos? Check out my indoor cooking channel, Cook With Aussie. There's a link in the description bar or you can just click the video.